morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, November the 17th. I want to introduce you first of all to John Murray. John is the director of University Concert Series. Good to have you Hi, here. Hi, Paul. John. Thanks for having me. Uh, you've got a lot of, of really good entertainment coming up this holiday season, and then you were telling me about what you have going on in 2017. You know, we're very excited this year, Paul, that finally Jesse Auditorium has opened back up after yeah. the big building renovation, and that allows us to get back into the auditorium and do some of the bigger productions right, that we because, haven't been able uh, to do. Right, because while the Missouri Theater is absolutely gorgeous, the stage is not big enough That's right. for some of the Broadway musicals that you could do over at Jesse. That's right. Most of what we do at Jesse re it requires about four to five semi-trailers full of scenery, yeah. and we could only get about one trailer full in, on Missouri Theater. Yeah, so w what have you got going on for the uh, holiday season? We're kicking off the holidays with a big Broadway-style show, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, based on the uh, favorite cartoon version of all of us that we watched when we grew up, mm -hmm. human uh, entertainers wearing the costumes, all of the original show, plus some new material in that. We've got the Great Russian Nutcracker in Jesse Auditorium, which is always a big, big uh -huh. family tradition. Yeah. And this year, they're incorporating local children oh, into the production. That's nice. working. So when is that? That is December 1st in okay. Jesse Auditorium. Uh, Rudolph is on November 28th in Jesse Auditorium, so we don't start before Thanksgiving, but boy, we'd start right, right, right after. after Thanksgiving. Okay, so you got Rudolph, and then you have the Nutcracker. That's and then, right. Then, and then we've got two of the iconic music labels uh, about holiday music. We've got a great show in Missouri Theater with Wyndham Hill artists focusing on the winter solstice, uh -huh. and then we've got Mannheim Steamroller coming back to Jesse Auditorium, and that's always a and that big, is big favorite. Mannheim Steamroller is December 9th, and Wyndham Hill is December 7th. Okay, anything after the 9th? Or? Uh, that does it for our holiday stuff. Okay. We do still still do some stuff early in January. Uh, but if people want tickets for the holiday entertainment, they're still available. We still have How tickets they available. Tickets? They can call 882-3781 or concertseries.org any time of day. Okay, the University Concert Series, it's, it's wonderful entertainment and then we want to have want to have you come back after the first of the year to talk about what you have coming up in 2017. The one that really piqued my interest. You told me you have you have Annie. That's right. We've got the Broadway musical Annie. Annie, complete with traveling children and dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so you'll have all of those big tractor trailers pulling up there. That's right. Like you had with Mamma Mia. Absolutely. And that will be at Jesse. That will be at Jesse. Okay. Thank you, John. Pleasure having you here. Best Absolutely. of luck with the holiday you, season for uh, University Concert Series. Again, for ticket information, the number is? 882-3781 or concertseries.org. And can you get tickets at the Missouri Theater at Box At the Missouri office? Theater Box Office from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Okay. Got and it. you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, too. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're, you got all the bases covered yeah, there. I hope so. I all right, to. John, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and you know, we are, we are coming up to the holiday season and Thanksgiving and Christmas. And whenever this season approaches, most of us think about the Salvation Army. And uh, we have a couple of new majors in, in Columbia. Yes. We're going to only meet one major today. The other major will come the next time. Okay. We have, you know, our other one, you say the wife was major, major. So <laughs> Major Nancy Holloway, good to have you here, Major Thank you Nancy very Holloway. Much. The Salvation Army, you've been in Columbia for about four months about now. About four months now. Yeah. And you and your husband are enjoying this location? We are. We, um, we love Missouri. Um, we've been stationed in, in St. Louis for five years and um, took a quick sojourn up to Wisconsin. It's a little bit too cold, so we came back south. Yeah. We ask and, and you know, the one to... thing you're going to find in central Missouri, if you haven't already, the people in this area are the most generous, giving, caring people that you will find anywhere. Wonderful. That really Wonderful. is true. Yes. The one thing you wanted to mention today was the Harbor House, because this is so important to the Salvation Army. Right? Last year, um, this past year, we've um, provided over 11,000 bed nights um, at our Harbor House. And um, with the winter season coming, that's when our, our house is especially full. And so um, our Christmas efforts in that go to help fund um, the Harbor House. Yeah. How many people can you handle in the Harbor House at one time? The Harbor House is a 61-bed shelter. 
Um, but um, six of those rooms are designated for family units. So if I have a family of two, then I have two beds, unfortunately, that um, go empty in that room. Right. But I, if I remember correctly, there were times when you were totally full, but you were putting cots out, too, right. to help to right. help take people in. We pr um, we're part of the hot and cold cot um, mm -hmm. program. And so um, anytime the weather drops below 45 at night, um, cold cots are available and individuals can come in. Um, they can use the, the shower facilities, the laundry facilities if they need, and they basically just have a cot in one of the assigned areas yeah. and um, get some in and out of the elements. You know, those of us who are blessed and fortunate enough to have a roof over our, our head and have food on the table, it's hard, it's hard to imagine what it's like to be out in the street mm -hmm. with no place to go, not knowing where your next meal is coming from. What it's good to know is that we have a wonderful organization like the Salvation Army available in our community and the good work that you do. Uh, as we go into the Christmas season, this is one of the most important times of the year for the Salvation Army collecting money. Right. Most people will already have received their Thanksgiving mail appeal, so now's the time to um, put that into the mail. We're partnering with the VFW um, with our Thanksgiving meal this year, um, but we're just building partnerships here in the community, and Christmas is that very next week. Right. And you've got the... Uh, the bell ringers are out in select locations right now. Right, right. but um, in just another week, you will be seeing the bell ringers out and about in the community, and just um, it's part of the Christmas tradition. Right, it brings in right. the Christmas. How cheer. much do you uh, have you set the goal for this year yet? Is how much you're hoping you'll raise? The I do not know that exact number, I okay. will be honest. So the next time you come in, you're going to have your husband I will, with you. I, the you have your husband? The next time, I will be talking about Christmas, and okay. I'll have that goal. All right. Uh, we just want to remind everybody that when you do see the Salvation Army out on the street, the bell ringers, carry a little extra money along with you. They prefer uh, the, the paper money. If you got that, that works a whole <laughs> lot better. Or you can send a check. Uh, to the Salvation Army for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. Remember that money is helping people in our community. It's really needed. You're doing a good deed. When you give, it always comes back to you a hundredfold. All right, okay, Nancy, it was so, it's such a pleasure to meet you, and I'm looking thank forward to meeting much. your husband next time. Okay. Okay? Out of time for today, tomorrow, the Center for English and Language Learning. If there's something that you would like to hear on our show, just drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu. We'll see you next time. Have yourself a good morning. Bye-bye.